Hey everyone, it's Tony George. It's Thursday. That means college and pro football primetime on Thursday night. Let's discuss the NFL game. Then tell you what's going on over at the website at DocSports.com. Subscribe, thumbs up, all those good things. Follow me on Twitter at TGeorgeSports. Uh, we'll be putting out some free stuff that's not going to be on YouTube over the weekend. Follow me over there. I'm giving you a winner. Gave you an eight unit. Uh, well, eight unit. I gave you uh, our pick of the year for college basketball in terms of uh, winning a conference for free. So get over and follow me. All right. This game tonight. Um, the only people watching this Carolina-Chicago game tonight are going to be people with money on it. I don't think anybody's running over to Amazon.com to sign up for Amazon Prime so they can see this game tonight. It's must-watch TV. This is two of the worst teams in the NFL. Uh, Arizona, who had 58 total yards last week on offense in an NFL game. They could join them for a threesome as the three worst teams in the NFL. But there's two bad teams tonight. You've got, of course, a three-point line with the home team. That's what happens when you have two evenly matched crappy teams. It's going to be a three-point spread or a pick 'em, but a three-point spread. And uh, you got to pick the lesser two evils. Now, usually what we do during on these games on Thursdays and Mondays is we do same-game teasers, side and total. And by the way, somebody texted me either they were with FanDuel or DraftKings. They don't let you do that. What? Uh, first of all, FanDuel and DraftKings, no offense to anybody. They're not, those, those are corporate entities. Those aren't sports books that gamble with you. They limit your options. If you win, they suspend your account or limit you down to $25 bets. They're a joke. You know, William Hill's got them. They're everywhere. Circa's in how many states? Look around. There's outlets. I can't talk about them for legal purposes, but they're everywhere. Google, you know. Go get one, you know. But nonetheless, what are you going to do? Are you going to tease Chicago through zero to get them at plus three at home? There's no value there. Can you trust Carolina plus nine with that quarterback? Do you want to tease them up? No. I mean, these are young. The quarterback that they practically killed themselves to get out of, from Alabama is a bust. He had three picks last week. Two of them went for touchdowns for the other team. Two pick sixes. One game. Poorly coached. Frank Reich is a coordinator. He's not a coach. And he was trying to be offensive coordinator for this team and ran him into the ground before he finally gave it up to Thomas. Now he's OCN. They're going to hand they make him a scapegoat. Yeah, the quarterback's no good. They're banged up on defense. But Chicago can't exploit it. Bagnat, a quarterback? Did you see him in the second half last week? Who's going to score? We talked about this on Doc's Grid Iron Six Pack yesterday. And if you're not, if you're a free play lover, that's why you're watching these videos. It's not because I'm a great guy to, you know, sit and watch. You know, I got a face made only for radio. You know, but if you're here for free plays, we are 67.5% against the spread on the year, putting out six games a week. You can't find that anywhere. If you're a skeptic, you're a hater, you can't even, you can't even come in and hate on it. You're getting almost 70% or almost 60 game sample size for free, myself and Griffin Murphy. It's on this channel. Go watch it. We were 5-1 and one last week. On that show, I mentioned these totals trends in one of my picks. Where is that sheet of paper? Right here. Let me get some notes out here. This is an underplay. Opened up a 40 down to 38 and a half for a reason. Wind blowing 15 miles an hour too at Soldier. So you ever been to a game there? I've been to numerous games there. Wind swirls going to affect field goals. Going to affect the passing game. Whatever passing game they can muster up. Which in neither, neither team. The only team that has a chance of stretching the field vertically is Carolina because they got Adam Thielen running around. But can he accurately get him the ball? I mean, he's playing in the slot, not even a wide receiver anymore, just so they can, Young can get rid of the ball. I mean, come on. Unders, 10-3 and three last week against the spread. 
since week three, 65% against the spread. Since week five, 67% against the spread. Unders in the NFL. This is a primetime game, right? Last time I checked, shouldn't be, but it is. It should flex out of this one. But if the NFL wants to sell their product and showcase it on a Thursday night, it's not Carolina, Chicago. No offense, Bears fans or Panthers fans. Your your team suck. But primetime games last four weeks, 9-1 to the under, 90%. We're not betting grandma's farm on it. We're not selling the kids' college funds. It's a free play. Anybody see? Does anybody see either one of these teams having 20 or more tonight? I mean, do you? If you do, bet the over. I'm not going to be betting it with you. 10-7, 13-10. Even if it was 20-17, to 17, by a miracle, somebody got 20 points. Two touchdowns and a couple of field goals. Give me the under. Over at DocSports.com, best way to bet this game is prop bets, and we've got two of them. We've been, we cached uh, Monday on our prop bets for the uh, Monday Night Football game. We've been doing well with props. Uh, last Sunday, I think we lost for the first time in three weeks on a prop card. But there's some good props in this game tonight. Booyah! Make some money. You know, quit worrying about the side and total. Something like this, a coin flip. Yeah. College basketball. If you didn't check out my college basketball podcast with Tim Fines, the guy who helps me in college basketball and helps me with the WNBA, um, you know, when there's five or six sports going on, if I want to put out a decent product, I need other eyeballs on some of the stuff going on than what I got. I only got so many hours in the day. So, uh, you know, I have some guys help me out. And Tim's one of them. We talked about college basketball, all the small conferences and what he thought. Uh, we opened up with a small conference hidden gem. Day one of the season on Monday. Have not put out a pick since. A pick since then for a reason. Now we got one today. Another three-unit best bet in college basketball. Hidden gem. And uh, we have uh, a three-unit NHL play today. Had the Las Vegas Knights last night for a five-unit position. Never got off the bus. That was a team that I watched that entire game that I was totally unfamiliar with. Wow. Wow. Bad game. Kings, real deal. Kings, good team. Better than I thought. Who thought, I mean, who'd have thought Vegas would, you know, lose back-to-back the way they've been playing? Wow. Got a three-unit bounce back game night. Totals play. Now, in football last week, we stunk up the joint. It was a bump in the road. It was an anomaly. How do I respond? Not with excuses. With solutions. And I'll tell you what, I've been doing this 30 years. You know what I'm doing? I'm firing and firing hard. There's a lot of value on the board this week. Sides and totals in college football. Including a Big 12 game of the month on a four-pack. On Sunday, seven-unit play. Pulling the trigger on a four-pack on Sunday in the NFL. I'm not shy. You know, everybody's got a bad day. Everybody had, you know, what's the line in the Big Lebowski? Sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes the bar eats you. Well, the bar ate me last week. Now it's my turn. Get over to Doc's. Get yourself some winners. Free 60 bucks. Link in the description below. Never been a member. We'll park it in your account. Come make some money. We're ready.